Hi everyone, Luke here from Apple Online Academy. Today, let's take a look at the recently redesigned go to folder function, which works in the Mac Finder and also in open and safe windows. There are a lot of Mac users that will never use go to folder, and there are other Mac users that will use it all the time to navigate everywhere in the Finder. In which group do you belong? Well, we will see after watching this video because this feature become a lot more useful than ever before. The go to folder function isn't new at all, but it got changed from the scratch in macOS Monterey. Now if you are in finder window like this and use go menu go to folder, it actually brings up this redesigned window here and it creates out the rest of the finder window. You can also learn the shortcut shift command G. And now we will use this control to redirect this open finder window to a different folder. If you used this thing before, you basically needed to know the path and insert it here. Now it's more clever, it works like a search helping you to create the path of the folder you are looking for. I think it will be the best to show you some examples how to work with it. Let's start with something very simple. I want to go to applications folder. I will start typing the word applications and you can see how it auto completes. I can now in the middle of the word use the tab key and it will finish the auto completion. Then press return and it jumps to the applications folder. It was very basic example and actually first folder in the path. But you don't always need to type out the entire path. You can start typing the name of the final folder you want to find. For example finding caches folder, because that is one of the folders hidden inside of your library and it's hard to find it. People look for this folder often to delete the files in it, to save some storage. To actually find this folder, you need to go to library, so you will start in the go menu. Sometimes the library is not even here, so you need to press the option key to reveal it. Now you can click on it, open it, scroll, try to find the folder here, and here it is. Quite a lot of steps to do. Let's do it again with the go to folder. Open new finder window, you can see it's my computer directory, so no pre-type path to library. Now use the shortcut shift command G which will open the window and let's type slash library and let's just see, you see it straight away auto completes and I can click on this option and it fills up the rest of the path and open exactly the folder. I said click on it but you don't really need to leave the keyboard at all. You can navigate between these options using your arrow keys on the keyboard, so you can basically open any folder of your computer using just the keyboard. So let me show you again, start with typing the folder you need, or use slash which kinds of starts the path, it will start it from your main level of hard drive, and it will be one of the folders like users, applications, library or system, and from there you can create the path. So you can select one of these, or maybe just type another thing like documents, Every time it offers me the correct autocomplete and I can use tab key to confirm it. And after that it will move down inside the folder and give me some more suggestions. As I said here I can actually use the arrow keys and then return to jump in one of these folders. Now let's see some more interesting examples which you can actually search using this. First place I want to talk about is iCloud. The path to iCloud is quite complicated, which you will see in a moment. But using this go to folder feature, it is usually enough to type letter I and it will recognize it as iCloud Drive. Then press tab to auto complete it and the full path all the way into your documents folder and iCloud Drive will be here. This is actually the path to iCloud Drive. Now once we are in this iCloud folder, I can type something else like M for movies. And here we are. I just typed two letters and I am deep inside my iCloud folder browsing the movies. Another cool thing that GoToFolder does is to search for tags. Notice here on the left I have some created tags called project A or B. These are the files in it. So let's open the same folder using GoToFolder. I can go somewhere else. Open it from the Go menu and I will start typing project. You can see it's identifying a folder called project. But another thing is, down here, it says project A as a tag. So I can select that and press return. 
and it will get me to the same folder which I showed you before from the Find the sidebar. One more thing to mention is that Go to folder isn't just in Find the Windows, it's also in the Open and Save the dialogs. If I'm saving my document but I can't find the folder I'm looking for, I can use Shift Command G and search the right folder here. It can quickly take me to iCloud for example and I can save it there. So it is very useful tool, especially if you like to keep your hands on the keyboard and try to minimize mouse and trackpad use. Yes, you need to little bit understand the structure of your home folder or iCloud Drive folder. You need to know your folders, which is probably a reason that not every Mac user likes to use this. But it can save you a few clicks every day and with it some valuable time. I hope you found this video useful, not a waste of time and you can let me know about it by leaving a like here. And I'll be happy to see you in the next video. Thanks for watching.